Hey everybody, I am APH, and welcome back to Woodworkers Incorporated. For those of you joining for the first time, thank you, and for those of you continuing to watch, thank you. You guys mean a lot to me. We've made a good chunk of progress over here, and we're ready to go ahead and break this off into its own district, because we've got our berries, we've got our farm, and we've got our trees, and they will, will they'll be making their headway in closing that up. We will need to, we're going to need to set up a lumber mill over here at some place, uh, just to kind of get some production going. I know this area, I want it for, for farming, and uh, so I think it's going to be on the water and maybe we'll do that before we we go too much further yeah let's let's do that now while we're thinking about it so it's got to be big enough to maintain so if our path is right here uh, we'll we'll kind of bring this out a little bit and we should be able to place it like right next to our our main uh hub here uh, we'll go something like this we'll place a one high right there we'll place our three high right there and then we'll kind of do that and that will allow us to place our our power creation uh, right right to about here with a lumber mill and then we just got to place a little bit of a, a little bit more right here so we'll just go a three high a three high and then we can place our path and this will be our basic lumber production for over here let's uh, go ahead and drop that that lumber mill in there we'll probably have to get an engine over here at some point in time and i do want them to prioritize this up that way they can kind of uh, once i break this apart we can immediately start collecting wood and kind of get going we are close we are we're very close to breaking this apart but in order to continue our our building of the the platforms we have to have lumber production and we definitely need more than that so we're gonna have to as soon as possible we'll we'll be dropping off lumber as well but as soon as possible we're going to be doing something where we have four lumber mills over here probably powered by a steam engine so I'll, I'll be sending gears and metal blocks over here I don't think I'm sending anything yet so that's that's yet to come uh, I guess we can leave the HUD up and we can kind of get going they did a good job on this right here we're ready to elevate this yet another level I have to be careful with elevating Elevating this as oh and not don't want to delete that that would have been bad uh, let's uh, get rid of that I can't elevate well I guess I could take it all the way back to to here and but I was gonna say I can't take it too far back because this is the pathway in but I think I can take it to here because we can we can make a path on this side for right now yeah, let's do that let's uh let's put our path here then we'll cut this uh, path right here uh, since they don't they don't need it and then we'll just get our staircase up right here and we'll just go with a little bit higher for, for there and then we'll, we'll we'll proceed with our lobbies we're getting uh you know we're not quite to where we want to be yet and maybe it is time that we just raise this to the height that we want it to be which is all the way up to that top because the other side's going to take a little bit more time uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and do that where we raise this side up and let them just kind of uh, work their way across and we'll just uh, create our staircase up there i'm i'm a little bit leery about placing this staircase here as the beavers have a tendency of getting stuck when I do things like these. And we do want the staircase in particular, this part right here, to be a secondary objective. And maybe we'll pause this row until they get the staircase done and they get this block built. Because once they have this block built and the staircase is done, I can unpause this one without, without beavers getting stuck. So yeah, we're going to let them build that. This area is almost unflooded. I did have to turn on some pumps in order to kind of get a little bit more water. And this area is pretty well ready for, for the next stage. The next stage we we're going to be taking this out completely and just using just water uh, pumps and uh, dumps in this area to kind of manipulate the water. It will be controlled by a couple of different zones and then we'll we'll pipe around the power kind of as need be. I do want to level this mountain a little bit as I want it to be used for some things. So I do want some staircases up there in order to kind of get this uh, level down. And so we'll go, I think it's right there. Yeah, we'll go right here. Then I need a staircase up here. Uh, that's a two high. I only want a one high. Now we'll go with that and we're going to go here and here and then i'm not sure if they'll get to this this episode or not or if this will be in between episodes but i'll definitely wait to to detonate this until till the next episode at least uh bringing it down to the final level if they get this done i'm thinking that we take it down to i'm thinking we take it down to this level right here think or uh, whatever level this is is kind of my thought and then we we kind of go from there so we'll just let them build that i do want them to focus on this so i'm gonna let them kind of have have that as a, a standard priority and maybe what I'll do is make it so it's ahead of this maybe I'll make it a, a secondary high priority so this priority right here uh, so we'll just mark that up and kind of get it going can't believe I just missed
missed that last little spot there. Oh my god. Who wants to see APH rage on the uh, screen? And we're we're up to a 10. Uh, campfires are still the lowest. Beaver statues, which would perfectly make sense, is not here. And roofs is. Uh, uh, roofs, with even with getting these roofs, we're still having issues. We have a total of 104, 112 houses. And I believe what we can do is move everybody over to the other set of houses. And that will cause everybody to be sleeping over here. And that will kind of alleviate some things. And once they get to that height, the good thing is we can use that to, to backtrack across this way to to build our, our monuments up here and our, our rooftops up there. So we're just going to go ahead and plan that as well, just to let them kind of build that. And then we're going to be placing roofs around this monument. I do want something very similar on this side as we do on this side. And so that will get us our, our monument power. But I want them to build this in this order kind of going forward. And yeah, uh, we will be placing campfires on this side. That's what that's for. As apparently, you know, this is the right number of rooftop terraces and this is not the right amount of campfires over here i do want to get our paper production over here uh and it, it's probably a next episode type of thing as well as i'm looking for a location for our our uh our uh, uh carousel wow english words can't get them out of my mouth think i want to use a platform in here as i think this water is well that is the right height so we could put the platform right there and we're going to have metal over here to kind of get things enough metal uh, I'm going to pause this for the moment. I don't want them building that. I want the, the metal being used for other things as we are down to just our 75 blocks with building the the tribute that we are building. Uh, so I do want them to kind of get that kind of up and going. And that brings us over here. And we are we are at a solid 14. Our homeless is slowly coming down. And as it's coming down, uh, everything's kind of coming in line. Uh, we do need books over here. And we've got our power already already piped over. So we just need to get our, our paper kind of with that. And we will... <laughs> Probably be placing paper right next to our rooftop terraces. How many unemployed beavers do we have? Here's the thing. Once we have paper over here, all of the builders, which we have 16 builders, can be transformed into other workers, as we will not be doing building at that point in time. So the amount of, of builders after this next build becomes very irrelevant. I think we need to go five wide, and we need to go... I'm going to take a venture and guess not that far. Probably, probably my guess would be like... No, you know, we're going to go this far for a reason. Uh, we're going to let them build this up. We're going to leave a little bit of space uh, next to the rooftop terraces here. And then we're going to place the power production over here. During this off season where we're not using the carousel, I do want to break the power up here. Uh, so we'll, we'll break it uh, probably like right there. looks good. That will be, we'll do paper, the, the books on this side. And let's go ahead and break our path right there so that we can place our storage here. And we'll go ahead with placing in our storage right now so that it can build as uh, so we just need some small storage uh, right here and right here this allows us to get our pathway this way yeah um, now this right here would be the pathway up so that works we would need our power connector right here let's do power first while I'm thinking about it and we'll just place a pipe connector there before we place our platforms and then we'll place our paper on this side over here and that will give a little bit of a room there so that we're not we're not crowding this area uh, too much so yeah just want to get that paper the paper mills right here and right here and for up here we're just going to go ahead and put our T connector in there uh, they should build this this only takes a couple of logs so they should build this relatively quickly and then the last part of this would just be placing the printing press on top so we'll get that going as well now let's go printing press not the not the the paper and that kind of brings it together i do think that if you wanted you could place these up on blocks as well i just think it gives a little bit of a verticality look to it uh, so we'll get our, our walkways here and i do want to break this pathway right here just so they don't fill that up and that that can kind of take place later it gives us a little bit of room here here that we can do something and I haven't quite decided quite yet but uh, we might be maybe uh, we've got our, our grill down here maybe we'll move two grills up here as kind of a route thing that way we can move everything up on the platforms and turn that into a little bit better of an area for for maybe doing more farms or more something else as I'd like to move as much of this down here up here as possible which will include in the future we'll be able to get rid of this lumber production probably in the next episode we'll be able to get rid of this lumber production we'll be able
able to get rid of the grill. We'll move all of the all of the large water tanks up top that will make this area just strictly farming and all of the lumber production will move the, the remaining breeding pods up here somewhere. They're probably this is probably a good idea for like up in this area as this area is blank. Speaking of this area, I don't think we're building anything else up. So let's let's knock this section down and we'll uh, kind of do this slowly to make sure I don't do anything silly. We'll put a pathway across here. Pathway, thank you. And we're going to try to get some roofs on this side to try to bring this area together where it's getting a little bit more of that rooftop aesthetic. I do think that the rooftop aesthetic is finally going up with everything that we've got going on, but I think that it's still struggling. And campfires, I can't believe campfires are still struggling. I, I really feel that some things are going down quicker than they should be. Yeah, I, I think that once this is done, we probably won't be revisiting this unless there's like a, a huge crisis. Uh, so we'll, we'll probably revisit it in the next episode and then we'll we'll clean it up a little bit. Uh, probably get rid of the, some of the builders, probably get rid of the, the lumber mills and then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, over here, they are building the tribute. They just have 120 more metal blocks to go and that should be done this, uh, this season. And then we have to get our power up there. I have some ideas as to how to get it and I didn't realize that this carousel was going. So let's go ahead and pause it so that we're not draining our much needed power. I do want to do something with this to where it's not draining power until we have a, a year-round power supply. So we might just build that and let it kind of be until I'm ready, as that is an issue. I'm probably going to take power from over here and probably pipe it up somehow. But yeah, we're just going to let them them build that. That is going to cover a huge area, uh, absolutely massive, and we're, we're going to go from there. I think it's going to look nice when it gets done. Uh, this area right here, um, I really wish you could configure the UI not to include all these, these red icons saying that this is full. Uh, it might be something that I have to look at and kind of get going, but we are now producing paper over here and we still have 24 homeless beavers. So I'm going to go ahead and I thought I paused these. That's really goofy. Yeah, I'm going to pause a couple of those just to kind of get a little bit better situation here. And we are, what do we have here for planks? We've got 480 planks. I think it's time that we get rid of that one there and we expand out our, our farming a little bit. This area is cleared and we're ready to detonate just a chunk here and we're ready to place the next chunks of uh, dynamite so that we can we can bring this area down. Again, this area is probably going to be mostly campfires, but I do want to knock it down to a reasonable height so that they're not, they're not walking around too much. I thought I detonated that. Maybe it missed. And that should be nice and green when they do knock it down. I think that we're in a good spacing there to kind of do it. We might like here just have to have a water dump like in this area. And you can see that the path uh, I, I believe that we could get the path out quite a ways yet. Let's uh, see how that kind of connects to the town hall. Yeah, uh, we don't redline until right there. So, I mean, we'll be able to easily get this. Does look like I didn't place paths up here and that might be an issue to where we'll have to uh, maybe build a walkway up right here in order to kind of get this a little bit. I, I figured that might be the case. And what we will do on this side is we'll go ahead and plot in anything that we can plot in and then we'll, we'll knock, we'll probably knock the top down first and then we'll do this next chunk as like a big chunk uh, kind of moving forward. I think that will look good. I think I need a pathway over here, probably, just to kind of connect that. Yeah, look at all those beavers. They're just absolutely going insane there. Oh, I love it. I, I can't stress this enough for the game. If if you want to build anything, have roughly 16 to 20 builders per area while you're building. It is it is absolutely astonishing how much they can do. I do want to close in this area, as well as I want to start getting our power production wrapped around the corner. Let's do the, the power production wrapped around the corner, just for so I can extend this to connect it to the to the other area. I believe it's a too high to begin with. Yeah, it's a too high to begin with. And this area, at least in here, is pretty well cleared out. Is that, did I set that one up differently? Did I do the three high on the bottom and the two high on the top? Oh man, uh, thankfully once this is built, nobody's gonna see that, uh, but that might trigger somebody's OCD that that is uh, that is different to <laughs> in the building. Hey, welcome to modern construction. Uh, it, when they start projects on one side, they they start with one thing and they, they, they get a, a different thing. I'm, I'm glad that, by the way, I, I saw the comments of the last episode uh, where somebody laughed about the fact that I, I turned on the carousel and it didn't have power. And I have to say, like, I thought that it ran power. So it was, it was even to me, it was comedic, where it was like a facepalm moment. So that was priceless. They're going to build that. Uh, this area over here is going to build it as well. Uh, do you need to pipe in planks? I think we're pi 
hyping them in for maple grove and it's kind of keeping up there the trees are kind of in an okay shape and we've got some trees over here that are, are ready to harvest let's uh let's go ahead and uh, get these harvested we do have our berries ready which is really good let's uh let's get those up and going as well so we need some some lumberjack flags we'll go with three of them we'll have to place a road you know let's yeah let's go with three of them and then for our food production for me personally i would place the trees under the lumber uh, production and i would place the crops under the the food production just kind of centralizing those which would make this bar a little less in size and to me i think that would just make a little bit of sense but that's me personally can't say what everybody else uh likes in things but i have, I have seen it and heard a couple of comments about that uh and i absolutely agree with them that probably cut trees and the plant trees and uh, bushes should probably be under wood and then the plant crop should probably be under food and that's just a, a personal opinion and maybe in the future I know that modders are really good about uh, making making changes to games which are meaningful maybe that would be a meaningful thing that they could do I want this is going to be sad thankfully there's way more potatoes that are going than what we need not potatoes carrot uh, so we're going to go ahead and mark this as a clearing zone so that we can bring a road that way I don't want to clear this and the other one that we'll do is we'll get a pathway uh, going this way as well. Uh, that will kind of alleviate at least one side of it. Since we're getting uh, planks brought in, they can kind of do that. That will kind of get us to this hill. I'm not sure if I want to knock down this hill or not. And that will, I don't know that we're going to go all the way to this corner. If I do, this would be a very goofy spot. As this town kind of red lines there, this town will easily be able to get to this area. But I don't know that I want to unless we do some major farming and do some major exports for over here. I think that they're finally getting towards the red line on the inner side. Let's uh, let's take a look. Yeah, they finally hit the red line, which is why we're we're getting a little slower production. It was somewhere, it was probably right around here that this side started catching up. We're, what we're probably going to have to do is allow this zone to build over here, or what we could do temporarily is, oh man, I hate, I hate deleting things out just to replit them in later. Yeah, let's, uh, let's delete this right here, and then we'll build across right here so let's uh let's get our levies in there that yeah, will just close this section up and this will this will give us the area and then when we're ready what we'll do is we'll We'll see if they can complete this. If they can, that's great and uh, wonderful. If they cannot, what we'll do is we'll create some sort of path so that this can get over to here. That or we'll create a district in this area right here, which will feed off of that water. And if that's the case, what we'll probably have to do is at least temporarily put the water pumps on the end, kind of get our paper production here, put our water pumps here so that we can create our district over here. And now I do want to encompass this area. I think it looks very nice. I want to make it all green. I want to make the whole map green is what I'd like to do. And I don't know how long or how much that's going to take as well as we will be starting a new series under the under the other faction very soon here we are having some breeding halted why do we have breeding halted and where exactly do we have breeding halted let's zoom in a little bit oh it went away so i can't actually see where it is so we have let's unclick everything we have 44 homeless and 37 unemployed and we have 15 buildings without workers ah how uh, so maple grove we have dropped a lot of workers over here we're at 78 of our 96. Let's find some of those homeless uh, and we'll shift them around. So let's check over here. We got 11 unemployed and 11 homeless. You are the next contestant to move to Maple Grove. So let's go ahead and send 11 of them over there and let's see if that helps our, our situation for unemployed uh, beavers. And it looks like we have no homeless and no unemployed. So all 11 of those went into job. That's really good. Now we have 26 more unemployed. Let's see where else we have some, some area of love. It looks like we have a water dump in the the area of the house of h so let's see if we can find some more of those unemployed and homeless uh, let's migrate them to the house of h let's get all seven of them over there and let's see what that does for our area and it looks like we now have one unemployed over there which is good and we have one homeless uh this is a thing we're getting to the point where we're going to need less and less builders and currently we have 12 builders and i'm going to say for the house of h let's let's get rid of this one because this one's an eyesore that's going to give us a few extra people that are unemployed and currently we have zero homeless that's that's amazing we had two people pretty much die immediately and that caused some some issues there but we are down to six buildings lacking workers and we're lacking them over here how many beavers do we have over here we have a total of 16 but we have homes for for 64 so let's see if we can find some more of these homeless i think we had some homeless over here yeah we've got 13 homeless let's go ahead and migrate oh we have 21 homeless but yeah we have 
have 13 unemployed. So we're going to go ahead and migrate those 13. And then we're going to, again, we have a lot of builders over there. So we're going to be manipulating those builders to try to, to try to get that a little bit better shape. But let's go ahead and send them over to uh, Beaverly Hills. Uh, what was that? What did I say? We wanted 13. And now we are down to no unemployed buildings. Yes, please. Uh, so that should, should help. And we have, oh man. Uh, so I'm going to pause it for this and we're going to mark these trees for harvest. Uh, that was, that was a fail moment. Uh, I cannot play the game uh, unpaused while marking trees. You still have nothing to do. Did I not mark them? Yes, I marked them. So why do you have nothing to do? Are you just thinking, wow, why are these beavers? They're like doing a mad dash from over here. Absolutely. Oh, they're, they're running around because they're filling some things. You guys, You've got trees. Do I need to pause and unpause you? The slackers. Absolutely blown away. We have some We have some slackers in our nation. I do want some food storage up here as we don't have a ton of food at the moment. We do have a good number of grilled potatoes, which is amazing. We have some carrots and we need to get a farm up for some wheat. Let's get, uh, we'll, we'll temp in the road as this will be kind of a thing. And we're going to get some wheat production over here. And a recommendation that came across, which I keep forgetting about. I will, I will flat out admit it. Let's get some storage and this will be the storage for our, our food. We'll go storage, storage, uh, storage here and storage here. And then we want to place some farms and we're just going to go, we're going to place them facing out as it will be a little bit easier to kind of manipulate them into what we want to do. This one's going to be need a, a ladder kind of on this side over here, which we'll be able to connect that way. This one, uh, we need the ladder kind of in the same spot which is, which is okay. I was hoping that we would be able, I was hoping that the entryway would be on the, the opposite side and then we'll just uh, create our pathway. We'll do our pathway like that. And that will give us some food storage and I'll configure that off camera so that you guys don't have to watch me for five minutes fiddling around with that. And that kind of brings us to over here. Now I do want them to build this so that we can expand out our water a little bit. So you higher priority, uh, you secondary priority, and we'll go ahead and mark this. Looks like they're going to get to the end, which would be amazing if they they could, it would be amazing, but we are 10 days left and I don't have a lot of faith that they can close that up in 10 days. I do have faith that they can close this up in four days. And in that amount of time, we'll be able to expand out our water a little. We have to go paper production on this side unless we do paper production over here. Uh, we already did route down the, the power and how is our aesthetics over here? Again, uh, we don't have any bread, so we're going to have to fix that. And we do have some rooftop terraces and some campfires that we have some some love for. I don't know why we're not producing the, the bread as quickly as we, we need to be because we've got our baker over here and it's full of flour and we've got our logs. Uh, so, so as a technicality, I mean, we have bread sitting there. We've got a lot of carrots. We've got some baked potatoes and we've got a gob. Uh, we have a a gob of grilled potatoes. We have some bread. So I don't know where that is all kind of going. Uh, that's grilled potatoes. Uh, what is on this side? And this one is bread. So it might not be enough. I might have to put another baker over here. We'll see how it kind of plays out in the next couple episodes. As they are finishing up their building and we're moving around some some uh, workers and things. Because once they build this end, we will not be building anymore. So we'll be taking out these builders. Maybe we put in another uh, grist mill and another, another bakery kind of in the place of that. And then we can slow down the breeding ever so slightly in this area. I don't like shifting beavers around. I think it's very micromanagey. I think that the other faction, the folktales kind of have it right where they don't have to shift some things around. This area is kind of just, uh, it is slowly clearing out, uh, which is pretty much what we want. And we have beavers that were sleeping on the ground. Do we have homeless over here? We have six homeless. Well, we, we do know how to take care of that. So we'll just place some, some row houses over here. And the plan for this area is flat out and simple. When this is gone, I plan on this being a ghost town. And I, I plan on it kind of looking like a ghost town so that, you know, maybe they can they can talk about how that used to be the great mining village that helped build great structures. And now it's just a, a shell of what it once was type of thing. Uh, so, I you know, I want to maybe maintain the water in some way, shape or form. Maybe we'll do that through manipulating these guys in order to keep the green. Yeah, the rest of it is just going to be a dried out town and we'll just just kind of leave it as is. Uh, so there, in the future, we'll move these back. And maybe what we'll do is we'll is we'll try to make this green, but just leave it blank in the future. But I think that kind of covers all the changes we're going to, to make between now and cycle uh, 32. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining and we will see you in the next episode.